Okay, I want us to look at the fundamentals of management. Fundamentals of management. Now, I want us to look at the management and other disciplines and also levels of management. Okay, management is compared with other disciplines because there are some relationship which management has. Like now, we start with management as an activity. Management as an activity, it says that management is an activity. Management is an activity because a manager is the one who accomplishes the objectives by directing the efforts of others. The manager is the one who directs the other workers on how to do the work so that they accomplish the objectives of the business. So management is what a manager does. Management is what a manager does. Management as a discipline. Management as a discipline. Remember, management it specifies certain code of conduct to be followed by the manager. And the, it gives out the various methods for managing resources efficiently. So management specifies certain code of conduct which the managers are supposed to follow and also the various methods which the managers are going to use in managing the resources of the organization effectively and efficiently. Management as a group, remember in, a, in management, managers are good according to the levels. We are all to look at the levels of management. So management comprises all those people who perform the task of managing the enterprise. Management comprises all those people or persons who perform the task of managing an enterprise. Any person who does the work of managing an enterprise, we call that person a manager. So management comprises all those people who do the work or the task of managing the enterprise. Also management is compared with science. So it is said that management is a science. How? Management establishes the cause, establishes the cause and effect between different variables and also it gives the principles governing the relationship. So it gives you the cause and effect of a certain relationship between the variables which are in that organization. Management also is an art because management requires applications of certain principles. You must apply some specific principles when you are managing an organization. So it deals with molding the behaviors or the attitudes of people who are working towards the achievement of the desired goals. So management you can give you some some principles which you are supposed to use so that you achieve the organizational goals. Also management is compared to a profession. So management is a profession. I think every organization as a manager. You cannot employ anybody as a manager. You need some specific qualifications. You must be qualified in a particular area so that you become a manager. Therefore, management management requires special assessment. So because of developments in, 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 in Kenya or developments in the area now, nowadays we are living, we have reached a stage where everything is to be managed professionally. Everything must be managed professionally. So you manage an organization according to your profession, according to where you are specialized in. Okay, let us look at the levels of management. When we say level, we mean a line of demarcation, a line of demarcation. 
between various managerial positions in an organization. Level or, or the area, area, line of demarcation between various managerial positions in an organization. So, in most cases, levels of management are classified into three. We have the top, we have top level. This top level is also called administrative. It's also called administrative. Now, this top level or administrative level, it consists of directors, chief executive, or the managing directors. So mostly these are the owners of the organization. They are the top level management. So mostly the top level management is, it is the ultimate source of authority. It is the ultimate source of authority. That's where authority runs from. They are there to, to give out goals and policies for, the, for an enterprise. They are the ones to establish, to set the goals and objectives to be achieved in an organization. So the administrators or the owners or the top managers are the ones who come up with the goals and objectives to be achieved in an organization. Most of their time, they devote it in planning and the coordinating functions. They are the ones who come up with the plans. They are the ones to make sure that those plans are being are well coordinated. So they are the ones who say that this is supposed to be done when and how it is going to be done. And what they expect, the results which they expect from the other lower level managers. Then the second level, the second level is the middle. The middle level of management. The other name for middle level is the executor. Executory level. Now, this one, this executory level or mid level, comprises of the mostly the branch managers and the departmental managers. Most of their time, most of their time, they devote it in organizational and direction, organizational and directional functions. They are there to make sure that the organization is being done in the right manner, and also. They give directions to the other workers on how they do the work. That is middle level management. So without them, the other workers cannot know how they are going to work. So also we have now the lower level or supervisory, or we can call it operative or first line managers. This one consists of supervisors, foremen, central officers. Now these are the ones who work more. They are the ones who work more so that they achieve their organizational goals. They are there to give instructions on what is supposed to be done. They are there to direct the other workers on what they are supposed to do and make some corrections where possible. Okay, so I think you have understood. Go back to the notes, read them, understand them, listen to the cream, then you make some summary. Okay, I think this is the summary, and you can understand well. <laughs>